So today I'm going to show you few different ways as how to earn a huge number of souls every day. So I'll start off with the first most simple way of earning souls. So I'm going to go to store and I'm going to click to this last tab called free souls here. Now in this section you see there are two different categories of banners where uh, this one where there is this option called watch ad which is disabled right now so basically it contains uh, five videos uh, it is going to provide you five videos every day and once you watch each video you are awarded five souls okay so total of five videos so total 25 souls each day you can get by just clicking on few of the videos now the second way of getting free souls from this section is either you have to take a few surveys or you take some math quiz or participate in some uh, you know questionnaire where you can actually after finishing it you get some number of souls from there okay so from my personal experience i cannot give you much pointers on this because i haven't tried it i it is a bit of you know time consuming it has a lot of questions and if you have the time you can go ahead okay so moving ahead with the next way or the next thing we can do in mk mobile for earning free souls is completing the daily objectives so you have to fulfill all of these daily objectives which is going to award you with a particular number of coins as well as as well as particular number of souls now starting off with the first objective there are there goes two points like so just by logging in twice in the game you get six souls just like that just like that okay now the next point is open two bronze packs now how do you open two bronze packs so you go to store you go to the card pack section here at the last of it this pack gets refreshed every three hours it's absolutely free it doesn't take any coin or it doesn't take any soul okay you just click on it and you get some reward from this one so it's gonna be either a special card it might be a level one attack level two attack upgrade or character level up upgrade card or it might give you a character as well yes i am telling you so if you keep on opening this bronze pack you know in the day at least four times sometime or the other you might get a card so i'm not telling you that each and every day you will get it but someday you will definitely get it okay it's a possibility there are scenarios where the people get so it's either a bronze or a silver card definitely it's not a gold card so now moving on to the next objective which says upgrade a special attack x-ray fatal blow attack or passive okay i'm just going to show you a quick overview of what exactly i'm talking about is so i'm going to choose a random card like this one reptile okay so here you can see uh, so you just click on one and you purchase you click on this buy option okay or you can either buy it or you can use upgrade cards if you have them so once you do that once you click on that you are finishing that particular objective you can say so moving on to the next objective that's going to be uh, buy or user support card so what's going to be that i'm going to the character tab once again uh, i'm going to my collection okay so under these uh, under the support column there are three different supports okay so one is attack one is health one is so you can fuse them with 5000 coins so, so you just click on the fuse and you can fuse it so once you do that uh, well that objective is completed right so uh, I will go to the next one and the next one says level up a character card that you own you have to play either a challenge or a faction war or or might be a battle okay to level up move for the next challenge which says win three matches in a challenge battle mode or battle. you have to play three matches in challenge battle mode that is one objective you have to play seven that is another different objective and you have to play 12 so once you play 12 matches in a battle mode so you get to finish all these three objectives in a set after that you have two last objectives which remain that is a quick battle and a normal battle in faction war so we will move on to faction war here and here once we click on fight online you play one quick battle with the team you complete one objective after that you play a normal battle you complete another one so that means 25 free souls from watching five videos and 18 souls by completing the daily objectives okay so 43 souls already in your pocket 
so we will move on to the next option for earning souls challenge mode okay. but what is the other benefit of playing a challenge so if you have a good roster you can definitely play the challenge because each particular tower gives you a war in terms of coins or in terms of souls okay so it's not just the character you get to have different kind of rewards by going through the challenge so moving on from the challenge the next uh, effective way of earning souls is from the faction wars so how do you do that how do you earn from faction wars so in the last video i had discussed how you have able to get a gold character card guaranteed after competing in a particular leg in faction war okay so using that particular reference i am going to explain like what extra in addition either you're getting out right so at the end of the season based on your standing in the leaderboard you are awarded with a particular set of things right starting from equipment cards to coins to blood rubles and a blood ruby pack which guarantees your gold character absolutely besides that you are also awarded a number of souls so here as per my current standing my season rewards will be provided to me in terms of 25000 coins 270 blood rebels and 55 souls okay now this number is definitely going to vary depend on depending on how you are playing the faction war and how you stand on the leaderboard okay so this number is totally you know variable it's kind of a variable and this thing this result is a kind of a 3 day refresh so you cannot term it in a daily measure okay so to sum up in that way by categorizing challenge and faction war it's not a daily reward okay yes it's a overall reward but it's not a daily reward okay now moving on to the last and the most important feature of mk mobile which is going to give you a measure of a daily rewarding of souls that is quest mode okay so in quest mode you can see there are different tower you click on any tower you see a number of quests which are listed here you click on any of the quests okay so these are some one day quests quite simple right you go to the quest you assign the characters depending on the bonus you set the chance you set the chance of success to 100% you make sure of it okay so here i select another quest and uh, i will select another one anyways uh, i have one more in my queue which i can play off so you see every quest has a particular condition with it okay depending on that you get the amount of bonus accordingly now i'm going to show you what kind of reward i get out of it 35 souls okay after playing that one day quest so i had to do nothing basically i had to do nothing i just had to assign a quest and mk mobile after a particular time just gave me 35 souls just like that and another quest which this one another one day quest here i got 30 souls again okay so i got that just like that without doing any grinding without playing any faction war without playing any battle mode and this is the last quest with which i got 25 souls so it depends on the type of quest and the type of difficulty okay and so here i'm going to claim the rewards of some quests which i had played which had a duration of only one hour okay so you can see i got nine souls only nine souls by playing one hour quest uh, if I play one hour souls and it gives me nine souls per quest and if I play three different one hour quests giving me nine different souls so in an hour I get 27 souls now if you can do or if you can repeat this thing for 12 hours that means in 12 hours you get 27 into 12 that's 324 souls okay now to sum up from the daily measure which I told you previously from the free souls section you get 25 souls from the videos 18 souls from playing daily objectives and 324 souls from playing this one hour quests for 12 hours if i sum it up it's giving you 367 souls that's right it's going to be 367 for the entire day so every day you can earn more than 350 souls every day okay without spending any extra amount any extra dollar so that is what i wanted to show you like now with this amount of souls 
you can open any pack from the card store so that's it from my side that is what i want to show you guys that it's a very good reward system in mk mobile if you can enjoy it. in my next video i'm going to discuss more about quests and which quest gives you the most rewards okay stay tuned on my name videos and if you like my video please visit my channel and check out the other videos which i have like comment and subscribe